Hey guys, my name's Crespo. Welcome to the video. We're going to be overviewing the history of the Halo Infinite store. So yeah, I want to give a shout out to Halo Infinite YouTube channel called the Halo Infinite Shop. So he does a daily upload of the Halo Infinite store. So without him archiving from day one, I wouldn't have enough proof to show today yeah the halo infinite store very interesting how it started every day there was two daily rotation items or daily bundles since halo infinite came out in beta apparently aka early access without a day one patch the halo infinite store got released yeah some things were overpriced like this 20 dollar set but everyone thinks this is the best one in the game well including anubis and Iron Man. The Halo Infinite shop is very controversial or maybe just it's just bad it, it's just very bad but at the beginning the shop was actually a lot better than what you think it was. Oh well, yeah the prices were high of course it was rotating two bundle of rare and ultra and some of them were okay you know they're not the best like emblems, weapon, vehicle nothing really in a sense because store you want people to be engaged you want people to come back to a store to check it to be like okay what is it today what is it today what is it today but as time went on now it's more of a fact of we need to wait for every tuesday for something interesting to happen which is quite sad oh and also waiting for the events the events are good because they're for free so yeah rotation was a bit was great it was really good 343 is just completely backwards so at the beginning they did two rotation and the more items and bundle that came out they only do one rotation and 343 say no fomo you know fear of missing out instead as time went on they are doing this practice even more of doing one daily rotation on the 23rd of november the first tenrai event came out the new armor set came out which looks really good but it's 20 dollars and then the sword contradicts because the tenrai event got a sword but it's a short sword and the shop is selling a long sword which is far better than what the tenrai event was offering then the issue appears during this whole tenrai week during this week they were only doing one daily toward your armor set the real question is is the questionable amount of credits for per color so basically they're saying so blue costs more than red but then the red bundle has a legendary visor and the other one doesn't but the blue one costs more so it's very questionable because rarity just doesn't make any sense so rarity means you pay more money but in every game you ever play rarity means how rare it is how hard it is to find how powerful it is how i don't know like how hard it is to achieve for example i got the ar and the handgun and the white skin technically that should be a legendary because getting to 152 was a pain it was a nightmare it was fun then it just became an agonizing task that you have to spend thousands of hours getting so the thing i don't understand is what's the point of rarity like rarity just there for price and that just sucks i think rarity should be there how high it is in the event like for example tenrai near the end of the event should be like legendary item because you work towards it or hell legendary should be more like you just earned it maybe complete the game on legendary complete the lasso you got a thousand achievement points you got a thousand kills you got ten thousand kills like it should be awarded that way or the other way is how well designed the armor is so for example like the halo ring and i think rarity should be how well designed it is not how much it is but yeah it's just even more funny because the next item is the imperial sant which came with emblems a sant and a cone it's legendary with two well actually technically five rares but four of them are emblems of the same 
emblem. So I don't understand the pricing. I don't understand the pricing. So that's 700. The red one was 700. And then the blue one was 800. Just for two items. Okay, and then near, nearer to the event ending for that week. 343 release called the Desert Sun, which include three coatings for all three armor cores. I thought they were improving from this point. I remember making a community post saying, wow, guys, they actually listened to our feedback, which then they just didn't. But yeah, this is 700 and it included three coatings and a visor, which is even more less than... The blue one. Right, November 30th. Anubis armor has showed up. $20? Yeah, it's a great helmet, but paying $20 for it, that's... Ooh, that's quite a pill to swallow. But the great thing is that they went back to two daily item rotation again. On the 4th of December, the pineapples. Yeah, I, I do love the pineapples, but the thing is, $10. Bleh. Hopefully they show up as an individual item in future. Yeah, I think most of the chess pieces for Mark 7 are quite bland. But then the pineapple grenades just seem kind of unique. Not too over the top, just a little. One of the best bundles is actually in this one. So it's the red skins from the flight. So they need to be like 900, 800 from the flight. And then they went down to 500. By far this is the best bundle in the game because it's one dollar per red skin and a sans. But the issue is campaign coming out. So when the campaign came out a load of red skins were added. So it, it's funny because this is like the best the best bundle in the game. One of them. And it got undermined by the Halo campaign due to the banish due to all the red skins. The only reason to buy a pack is red pack if you wanted a more clean red, a more defined red, much more polish. So yeah, let's skip to the next Tuesday. So the added the soldier armor set, which is pretty decent, you know, for the belt and stuff, but it's $20, man, $20. Yeah, it's a reference to Halo Legends, but the visor, I mocked it when it first came out, but later I regret saying that because I love seeing other players with the visor stands out. It's a great looking visor, but for $10, like, phew, like, I wish there was an option to say how large the uh, pickle is, because that thing is huge. And then the Daisy Delight, which is a Halo Legend anime reference, which is pretty awesome, but it's it's $15 for accessories. Say I would want a teddy bear, but individual. Like, I wouldn't buy it in the bundle. Like, most of the stuff in the bundle I don't actually want. But anyway, as time went forward, it's still doing two dailies, swapping out the ult the uh, epic rarity, they're swapping out the rare rarity. You wanted to go on the store to see if there's something that you want. Now, here's where the downfall of the Halo Infinite shop really is. And I'm being serious. I get it. Like, we all say, oh no, the cat is. On the 14th, they started doing one daily bundle. And this is where it began. This, after this date now, the 14th of December, it's all one bundle ever since that date. It's been nearly two months, nearly two months, and we've been getting, you know, one daily bundle ever since this date. And that's not the other issue. The other issue is they pay Wolf the Reach Armor set. Yeah, it might not be the best Reach Armor set, but this sets a precedent saying, hey, a reach season one battle pass event and we're putting armor behind a twenty dollar wall like new the thing is right i want the helmet most of the other stuff i just meh i don't really care but the fact that it's behind a massive paywall just to have it yeah i get it it's a free to play game but the greed here is ridiculous. Like, I hate the fact that there isn't any earnable currency in the Battle Pass until Season 2 in May. But, seeing this, it's like, why does it need to be 2,000? 
Why couldn't it be 1000? Why, why couldn't it be 1500? Instead, they put it as that. There's a lot of things that we're missing still. We're missing the Emil knives. We're missing, missing cars to shoulder pads. We're missing JFO helmet. We're missing CQB, which is apparently in season two. So yeah, this is the actual downfall of the store. This is where it actually happened. The whole the whole point of the store, you go there and there's multiple items. There isn't any. It's only just going through rotation of one item. So as you see, they're all just one daily item and it's all the stuff from the previous weeks. You know, not yeah, there was something new. There was a tea bag, L Grey charm which is yeah, it's fine but it's still a bit pricey now the most controversial week the cat is okay so let's be honest here it is controversial because it made halo wacky when it shouldn't be wacky but then uh, i don't know like 343 needs its own identity instead of relying on nostalgia armor all the time like 343 needs to create their own new helmets create their new image the cat is i have to say are the only well designed headpiece well one of them in halo infinite why because every single helmet attachment either gray or black you can't change the color i would love if helmet attachment had multiple colors like you could pick from white black gray military green you know something like that or it blends in with your cone with the cat is yeah it's ten dollars but if they become individual for 300 coins 300 credit people will buy it there's a reason why not because of furry not because of weaves i bought them because i generally own a cat i love cats i, I'm like, I mean hell i want to wear recon reach recon but 343 just don't throw anything toward the Reach armor set. Like, I get it, nostalgia, but they're not adding anything. And this is a Reach season. So anyway, the reason I like the cat is because every single Cohen matches the cat is. No other helmet attachment does this. This is the only unique helmet attachment in the game that actually you know takes your armor cone and applies it to your headpiece every single other one doesn't it's all gray black whatever the color is so anyway now we get to iron man <laughs> i didn't buy this but i was really close to buying it the iron man cone it doesn't have any armor which sucks a lot but it had three coatings i mean it should be it should be the standard it definitely should be the standard but they're being dicks about it they keep they want to resell you blue they want to resell you red they want to resell you yellow purple pink green because it makes more money but this i mean from the week before and this week i'm talking about now made me question like why can't we have individual items like in the iron man set i wanted the white br it looks amazing it looks unique but the problem is you have to pay 20 dollars and you're you know you buy a force bundle you don't want half of the stuff but you have to get half the stuff for it and then the next questionable one is the mayhem weapon set is so three weapon attachments which there isn't that many weapon attachments in the game and there's one for the BR which is unique. That's fine, that's good. But the question is, is the skin, the grey white skin, is from the Halo Infinite Flight and it was separated in a different bundle for cheaper or under half a price. Well, nearly half a price. Like I would have, I would have wanted the grey and white skin to be 500 credit like the red one but they won't do that i mean with the red one it was undermined by the campaign so quick okay let's fast forward the 28th of december this is the one where the first ever ai came out i said this was the worst one in the game but i regret saying that because people kind of proved me wrong on it so i agree with them 
the next one's even worse but this one $20 for an AI so I get it it's a bundle and Mr. Chief is inside joke from from Bungie 343 ever since Halo 3 like because Frankie O'Connor drew, drew it I don't know $20 like there is so many issues with this pack uh, the price is super high so yeah Halo 5 did their voice pack for $10 it had Buck voiced by Nathan Fillion who's you know quite big in TV and he's an ODST quite a grunt like yap yap with funny commentary and then an exuberant which was quite an interesting character from Halo 5 and he isn't even voiced by Nick Offerman like from well because Nick Offerman did the uh, Mr. Chief requisition advert commercial which a lot of people hated but then his voice is very good but yeah it's a different character it isn't so bad but this is the problem it's like it's $20 for even less than all the armor set like the Iron Man one the frost and fire that was actually decent I mean with no armor but it had so many stuff jam-packed into it shred or die is one of the best bundle in the game like one of them okay you get an emblem which you might not like you get shin pads the game barely has any like leg armor and then also it comes with an odd ball as a weapon charm and i quite like it like i thought it was worth it like just barely fast forward to the 4th of january this is the worst week well the worst 20 dollar bundle i have to say in life and path it's 20 dollars for one armor effect that you rarely see i i even has you know i wanted it because the equipment i use in the game all the time is a grapple hook or repulsor and i love the repulsor but the thing is it comes with a petal effect but for 20 dollars man what the hell free for free and that isn't the worst part about the 4th of january wait with the 4th of january came a weapon attachment for your ar that goes at the back of the ar meaning you can't see it in first person the only people that will see it are other players if they're looking from the side and then it came with a black skin which is you know some a lot of people do love the color black it's a great weapon skin it's a great armor skin but the problem is it's in the one thousand it's in the 15 dollar bundle so hopefully 343 introduces this skin as an individual skin for 200 300 credits i think people will buy it the 11th of january yeah the anubis set came back after almost two months after it first appeared so that's pretty good at least i actually coming back into rotation people say it ain't fomo it is fomo it's a different type of fomo so the problem we got here because halo infinite is a new game toward free to play so we don't know when any of this stuff will come back for example my pineapples from me viewing all the video i don't think my pineapple came back neither have the cat is so you missed it you missed it until some further date it's the same thing with all the 20 dollar bundles like most of them haven't come back you know you might be away from a game for a few months they might come back into rotation when you're not on the game when you gave up on the game you're playing like a uh, dying light 2 elden ring and then you come back it's like yo do have the frost and fire set came back it's like yeah it did last week like oh most of it's the same kind of dailies it's sad it's really sad what happened at december that all the dailies only appear once a day now and they're terrible they're all the same stuff there's no point to go to the store only on tuesday tuesday is like the best day to go back to view the halo infinite store just enjoy the game and just view it on tuesday that's not how you do a store i keep saying this over and over again it it shouldn't bend people over it shouldn't price hike too much it 
it got a, it got to make the person think they make you know buying something for a good deal but then the halo shop doesn't do that and the daily rotation they had no items at launch pretty much and they were doing two daily rotations and then a month in they're doing one and they got more items than they ever had the first time so it doesn't make sense we get to the positive the 18th this is where 343 took the community feedback and actually let me just quote well partly quote from memory want to lower the prices and offer a better value in the bundle when i first saw it i was like wow ten dollars with a purple visor and with a decent looking emblem the warhog skin you know 500 credit for three warhog skins and tires the problem i got with this pack is that the tires only apply to the default warhog none of the others that's this is one of the issues i really wish 343 has done so if you buy like a warhog attachment it should be it should go on all the other warhog i just don't see why it shouldn't like the value will go up if i could knew the mudflat crossbone the tires the windshield and i can put on every single warhog that increases the value but instead it doesn't <laughs> ah voice voice crack neon superfly $12 I don't know if it was gonna be a $20 bundle but I have to say this is one of my favorite bundle in the game the only issue with this bundle I think it should have been at least $10 at least just $10 which is still a lot but it got so much stuff in it but they should have made one for the reach armor core and I think that's one of the downside. And also the visor. The visor looks really good. And I wish you can use that visor on the Sam, you know, the Yoroi armor set, the Reach armor set. That would look really good, but you can't. So I say this is one of my top bundles that 343 took feedback and they actually applied it. They actually did something good. But anyway, we'll fast forward again. So the daily is exactly the same, meaning you have to go back on Tuesday. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. The 25th, 343 took feedback again for the individual items. This is something that I wanted since a few months into the game. Like I actually wanted individual items to buy, you know, to sort force bundles, to have more items in the shop, and then to buy stuff that you you know that you want out of a bundle like for example the white br i wanted it out of frost and fire definitely wanted it so the problem we got here perfect ascension removed the halo ring which people did get pissy about which is fair enough because the mobile app for halo waypoint showed the halo and people bought it thinking that it had the halo ring in it and it didn't definitely could be cheaper could be five dollars could be six dollars kind of like the neon end credit right there because the problem with this is you rarely see it for yourself it's more eye candy for other players but i say eight dollars is so much better than 20 so much better than 10 it's getting there like it's really getting there so the bigger controversy of this if the helmet the helmet is seven dollars but it's not yeah the helmet costs a lot of money and it isn't seven dollars because you have to buy one thousand credits which is ten dollars the problem i got here is you can't view the bundle it came from and to see how much it is is the bundle still two thousand credits because three for three said they're lowering all the bundles but the problem i got here is that all the bundles that are through the daily rotation they're not affected yeah we're gonna go into a rant right at the end of the video but yeah i think free for free with their individual item are even more drip feeding than what they were before going from two daily rotation to one with bad but now going down from one daily rotation to one individual item which appears three times in a week that's even worse i love perfect ascension i like i like it it's very subtle it isn't too bright 
The only issue I got with it is the way how mythic effects work in the game. Like because they only apply to one equipment. This is where one of the biggest issues I got with 3 for 3 in the last two weeks. Now they're doing individual items, but they're rotating the same items in the store per week. So basically now there's only going to be three unique daily items or four per week instead of the seven. The Cosmic Goblin re-shows up again. The AR Asses shows up again. And then the BR shows up again, meaning they don't have much to offer. It was just so pointless. This is supposed to be them showing the community that they can create, you know, that they can do individual items, they can give you a better offer. It is really sad. So the 1st of February, this is pretty much the last week. Yeah, the Tenrai event. Okay, so they gave back the $20 armor again out of FOMO. I mean, this is good, bad. I mean, I'm glad it came back, but I'm not willing to buy it. Like, I really wanted to go into that bundle and buy either the helmet and the attachment or maybe the flagpole thing. Well, yeah, the thousand credit one because it actually had a cone for the Reach armor set, which they rarely do. They don't give enough love for that armor set. They will in season two, but not now. So the issue I got with last week was even worse. So they split the daily bundle from week 1 and 2 of Tenrai, they didn't reduce the prices of the bundles, they reintroduced the same flare armor type like 3-4 times in one week, meaning they didn't have anything. Yeah, the Asian flare was bundled with the frost visor for 700 and it got split in half and it went up to 800 buying them separately. Now, the, the issue I got here is should have been down in price to like 500, you know, from 700 to 500 because 343 reformed the bundle prices, but they didn't. If you buy them individual, you will get a worse deal if you wanted both of them. And the problem is they weren't in a bundle this time. So if you're a new player, you'll see that and you think, wow, that's a great deal. But the problem is it isn't. Because it was 700 and you're paying 100 credit more than what you recent what you did before so yeah let's fast forward to today so the halo ascension halo i think this is one of the best deals in the game why because it shows up on all three armor cores it's a unique design and it animates properly it's centered aligned you know that stuff and it's 300 credits i think that's the best deal from looking at all the other stuff, but yeah, the Warhog Longhorn, like I said before, it should apply to every single Warhog. And the fact that it's six dollars for a single just no, no, it should be at least two, three dollars, and it should apply to all Warhog, including the Gauss Hog if it ever comes out. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the whole history lesson. So I will put timestamps in the video so then you know you can skip all the history lesson because a lot of people in the Halo community kind of knows because everyone complains about this all the time. Finding out daily rotation got turned off in December is one of the most interesting part about this video I think. They didn't start off with that many items. Came out and they started with two rotation straight away. Like they wanted to leave a really good impression. As time went on, like months, we got more items. And the system would have benefited from two daily rotation. It would have benefited a lot. Like people would go back to the store to see two daily rotation. And because 343 are taking this pledge of listening to the community about reducing bundles and doing individual item, the two daily rotation will help a lot. Because the problem is you free for free UI cannot handle anything. It's some of the funniest thing I ever heard. So yeah. So they came out with a statement a few weeks ago saying they heard the feedback but they can't do it. So 
They might be able to do it in the future when Season 2 rolls out, but it sucks. Because during the launch of Halo Infinite in early beta, early access, they had two rotation, two daily rotation. They could they can use that as a temporary fix. You know, it, it won't be a good fix. The thing is, I keep saying, well, I said in one of my posts that I wanted a catalog, and 343 can't even do that. So you might be wondering, okay, so this is the discussion part. Like, yeah, I ranted a little. Yeah, a little. So here are the changes I want. The biggest issue I got, which I think a lot of people might agree with, which a lot of people might say, hey, you're in tile, you're an entitled prick, you're a hypocrit <laughs> hypocritical guy because you bought stuff. Because I spent money on the Halo store doesn't mean I don't agree with a boycott. Like, for example, Apple, Intel, AMD. So there's stuff that they sell that are super expensive, but the problem is because they're such a niche in their market, you're kind of forced to buy it. You you know, you do have a choice. Because you bought something shouldn't make your opinion invalid. So let's say this. I bought pineapples. I bought the cat ears. I bought a few weapon skins. Because I actually wanted them. But the thing is, I can agree with the boycotts that the prices are bloody high. And I wish they were reduced. Like 100%. So yeah, so here's my issue, instead of just going through the whole hypocritical stuff, which, you know, I needed to address because I have bought a load of stuff. So because 343 took a pledge, or I don't know, just said to the community there, listen to feedback and doing all this stuff, they lowered the prices of future bundle, but not the previous bundles. That's, this is the issue I got. This is a digital marketplace. They already got your money. So let's say this. You spend $20 for 2,000 credits to buy a $20 bundle. Here's the positive. You got early access for two months. The thing is, they won't cut down the prices of the previous bundle because of bragging right. Players who bought like a Iron Man skin, Mr. Chief, the Halo Reach armor set. 343 won't give them the money back and I don't mean real life money because they got your real life money you spent the $20 the only thing I want 343 to do and this is serious they need to refund however much they reduce the $20 bundle to and give people part of the money back I get it I know here's the argument with that with real life retail stores like Amazon you know, you buy something and then the next day it goes down in price. But here's the issue here. Usually people can, you know, have a receipt, send it back and then rebuy it. But this is a digital store. They got your $20. They have it. You know, they're not giving you real life money back. But this is virtual currency. They got you in the system. They got your $20. So why can't they give like a small amount of credit back and then reduce the previous bundle for new players so for example mr chief and the petal effect is 2000 credits 20 dollars only i say a small amount of people bought the petal effect and a few people bought the mr chief ai because you know some people like mr chief they want his unique voice it's different if 343 gave them like 400, 500, 1000 credit depending on how much cheaper the bundle is, then new players could buy that bundle for cheaper and it will sell out even more, making 343 more money. But the problem is they won't do that. I've got other examples. It's not with $20 bundle, it's with the daily bundles that rotate every time you see them. Like, for example, the Chibi, or the Superintendent, or the Halo Reach armor set, you know, the one with a knife on your torso and on your leg. The problem is, because 343 are saying, yes, you bought it for your bragging rights, and we're never going to bring the prices down, unless 
individual items. So this is the thing. I want, I really want free for free to refund people off the price difference for rare, either for epic and legendary bundle, but not not rare because rare is doable. Rare is like five hundred credits, you know, five dollars. It's still a lot of money, yes. But if free for free refunded the epic and legendary differences to people and then re-put up the bundle or individual items people will buy it people will love it but the thing is free for free won't do that because the ui is limited they made a really terrible ui like it is limited they couldn't even put playlists they knew that excuse you know sorry we can't put in fiesta swap we can't put in free for all, can't put in Slayer. And then like a few weeks later they did. So yeah, that's my bigger complaint. It's controversial, of course. People will complain at me. Which that's the problem. Halo's in such a rough place. I really want it to see improved. Big time. That's what I want. Well, that's what I think everyone else should want. Everyone should have the option to either buy it individual, you know, like you should have, you can view the bundle. The bundle offers a slight discount, similar to Fortnite. So it, let's say there's a $15 bundle, but if you buy the individual item, it adds up to 20. But the thing is, you can see the difference because you're on the bundle and it tells you how much of a difference is. And it tells you that you could save 25%. That's how I want it. 343 should make a page 2 to the shop. So a category, a catalog. What 343 got with a storefront, they can keep it. But they should have a page 2 for daily rotation items. They could have 3 to 4 wow factor items. Like that's the whole reason why their thumbnails are bloody huge. Because when you click on the store, they want you to see that. They want you to see them. I want them to do that, but reduce the prices, of course. Remove the, the uh, challenge swap and XP boost. Remove it. Have it in the uh, challenge tab and page two. On page two, it will be 10 items. So the 10 items changes every week. Three to five will be daily rotations, either individual or bundle. Like, mainly I want them to be bundles, so then when you click on the bundle, then they're individual. But that's the thing, that would be more of a Season 2 thing. Like, if Season 2 comes out in May, then there will be plenty of items to rotate through. There is anyway, there are quite a lot of items if you split the bundles. Like, for example, the Chibi Chief, like, they could easily split that for individual items for 150, 200 credits for each one. Because not everyone wants all the blue team. Like, some people might want Linda, some people might want just Martha Chief. So, Arthur editing this for about six hours. I very cool as a close. So, yeah, I've been Crespo. I really hope you enjoyed the video. You can sub as you like. Or just, you know, have a chat in the comments section. So yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you around.